Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to script crypto data from CoinGecko's website. All right, so this is the website we're going to script the uh, crypto data from using Python. All right, so uh, let's see. All right, so here, uh, this CSV file is going to be the final output with the uh, results going to look like once we script the data. If we compare the table against the cryptocurrency prices table, we have the crypto rank, currency's name and uh, symbol tag, price and the price uh, difference between the last hour, the last 24 hours, and the previous seven days, followed by the 24 hours of volume and the market cap. So this is something very uh, straightforward. And because the last column, which is going to be last seven days, and this column is basically a graph, and unfortunately we can uh, extract data from the graph itself. So that's why uh, from this table, from this result set, we are missing the uh, the last column. All right. So here, let me open my Python script, and let me close the CSV file. And I'm going to delete this CSV file. All right, so here, uh, let's do this. I'm going to, here, let me move the demo file here. Let me recreate my demo file to the project folder. All right, so I'm going to insert my code snippet for uh, web scraping. And for this exercise, I'll be using the request is uh, library, beautiful soup library, and pandas library. And here's the header information I'm going to provide when I make the request call. All right, so here, uh, let's grab the URL. Actually, uh, let's do this. Let's say I want to script the uh, information or the table from the first three pages. So I'll go to page three. And if we look at the URL, so here we have the page parameter. I'm going to grab the entire URL. And I'll paste the URL to my URL variable. All right, so everything after the question mark is going to be my parameter. So I'm going to cut uh, this portion real quick. And I'll rename the URL to base URL. Next, I'm going to create an empty list called tables to store the uh, tables into this list. All right, so I'm going to iterate the first three pages. So I'm going to say for i in range. And it's going to be from page one to page three. Inside the get uh, request call, the URL is going to be the base URL. And as I mentioned before, everything after the question mark is going to be my parameter. So we can actually uh, create a additionally to specify the parameters in this case there's only one which is going to be the page number and we know the parameter name is going to be page so here i'm going to insert page as the key and the page number as the value now going back to the requests.get method to supply the parameters we can insert the params dictionary to the params uh, parameter. Then I'll retrieve the content from the response option. And for the method type, it's going to be html.parser method. Then I'll use the beautiful soup class to create my soup option. Now let me put a break right here and let me go ahead and run the code block. All right, so here if I run the soup option, and it's going to print the source marker tied to this table right here. In form to read the table, we can use the pandas library. From the pandas library, there's a method called read HTML. And we need to provide the table tag as a string. So here I need to use the str function to convert the super object as just regular strings. And if I print the statement, it's going to return as a pandas data frame table in a list. 
And since we know there's only one table on this page, so from the list, the table will always be the first element. Now going back to the loop, I want to add the uh, data frame object to the tables list using the append method. Now I can basically take this statement and I'll cut and paste to append method. And once the loop extract all the tables from page one to page three, now we need to merge the table into one single table. And we can do that by using pandas the concat function. And we insert the tables list. And I'll name the output as master table. And let me go ahead and create the master table object. Oh, it should mean uh, run this loop plus the tables creation. All right, so it looks like the master table is created. And let me go back to the loop. Here I want to print message processing page, giving the page number. Now, if I print the master table object, here we have a table with uh, 300 rows with 10 columns. And some of the columns that we don't need, so I'm going to remove the columns that is not going to be helpful. All right, so from the master table data thing, that look, I want to extract every single row. And for the columns, I want to skip the first column and the last column. So from master table dot columns, I want to slice the columns from the second column to the second column from the last. And this will be reassignment. I can save the content as a CSV file or Excel file. I'm going to save the table as a regular CSV file. I'll name this as crypto data table dot CSV. And I'm going to set the index to false. All right, so here let me go ahead and terminate this session. And I'll press F5 to run the script. All right, so, oh, so here I have a typo. This should be 2CSV. And let me try again. Okay, now here's the CSV file. If I open the file, and here's the table content from CoinGecko's website. And me out of fit the column so you can see everything. And if we go to the last column, here's the 300 cryptocurrency on this list. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.